in charge of the backdrop, Naomi. Yeah. What's wrong with it? Uh, well, the words are completely jumbled. What? You can read that? Of course. You okay? No. Oh, God. I, I could be having a... Oh, what's, what's the mnemonic? Uh, F, F is for face. It's my smile crooked. What are you doing? A. A, uh, a is for arms. Arms. You should really sit down. <gasps> Can somebody get us some water? S. S is speech. I'm slurring. I'm slurring? Huh? F A S T. T is time. Hurry, somebody, uh, call 911. Tell them the vanish truck. Welcome to the world of maternal mirror syndrome. Mom's body is like an intricate German metro system. All the trains run on time. When she gets pregnant, it's like a new station opening in Dusseldorf. A bunch of rookies running things, bound to be mistakes. Kids play on the tracks, get electrocuted. Before you know it, trains are backed up all the way to Berlin, and you get a bunch of angry Germans with nowhere to go. And we all know that ain't good for the Jews. So who are the Jews in this metaphor? A few things can happen to a fetus in distress. It can become a miscarriage, stillbirth, very sick baby, or on rare occasion, a time bomb. Kills mom while it's dying. Good news is, we fix the fetus, mom gets better. It's the diagnostic equivalent of a two-for-one sale. You said sedation was risky. This sounds insane. The injection goes into the umbilical cord. The baby won't feel a thing. Fetus. And lowering expectations. It works here and on dates. The benefits outweigh the risks, and the paralytic will wear off in an hour, OK? <sighs> Must be easier to hear you might die than your baby might die. But if there's anyone I would trust to save my baby, it would be Dr. House. Penis. There's a blockage in the urinary tract. Simple terms, your baby can't pee. His bladder is swollen, and it's crushing his lungs. Well, can you fix it? We can insert a small tube in the baby's bladder that makes the urine come out straight through his belly for the duration of the pregnancy. The bladder decompresses, and the lungs will be able to develop normally. When the baby gets better, you should get better. First, we just have to do a test to determine whether the baby's kidneys are functioning properly. Well, and what if they're not? If they're already too damaged, then there's really nothing we can do. My stomach is killing me. It's not my stomach. Can you open your eyes, Emma? I'm just going to take a look. The swollen bladder was not the only problem. We can't leave it inside you. We have to terminate. Well, can't you deliver him? Put him on a respiratory machine till, till you figure out what's wrong. We can, and it won't matter. The fetus is still at least two weeks away from being viable. Oh, well, I'll suffer through this for two more weeks then. You're on dialysis for your kidneys. Your kidneys go wait. They don't make dialysis for your liver. You're not gonna make it two more days. I'm not gonna let you kill my baby. It's killing you. I'm not having an abortion. It's not a baby, it's a tumor. I understand dying for a cause, sacrificing your life so your child might live, but that's not the choice here. Either it dies or you both die. Or you fix him, and we both live. I can't fix it. I'm scheduling a DNC. I won't consent. So I guess you have two days to figure it out. What if our original assumption is wrong? It isn't. If we assume she doesn't have mirror syndrome, then terminating her pregnancy isn't going to help her liver at all. We eliminated all other possibilities. The fetus is hydropic and in distress. Emma's kidneys and liver are failing. The diagnosis is solid. Wow. The ass kisser won't agree with you. You must be even wronger than I thought. Fine. Let's assume she had Mara syndrome, but we fixed it when we fixed the baby's bladder. That means that her failing liver would be completely unrelated. If it is, we can fix it. And we don't have to terminate. 
So her theory is that our patient's liver problems were just a giant coincidence. It's not a surprising coincidence. Pregnant women can develop liver problems. If this is the case, we can actually do something here. Don't you guys think that's worth exploring? Acute fatty liver of pregnancy would have the same symptoms. Thank you. Brown noser. Viral hepatitis, help syndrome. Oh, look, sticking up for your girlfriend who says chivalry's dead. We were able to control the preterm labor with tocolytics. The contractions have subsided for now. And the liver biopsy was negative. This is definitely Mara syndrome. Her baby's doing this to her. We're out of options. Did the biopsy cause the preterm labor or did it happen on its own? It doesn't make a difference. Preterm labor can be a new symptom. New information gives us new theories. Isn't that how it works? Not in this case. Her body's trying to do what you refuse to. Get the baby out and save itself. Patient's transmenases are 10 times normal. Her liver's on the verge of shutting down completely. A torch test could... We don't have time for more tests. We have to terminate or she'll die. What do you think House would do? House wants to terminate. I mean, if he didn't, if he shared my position, what do you think he would do? He wouldn't share your pain. He'd be objective. Right. He would prioritize his problems. He'd terminate. He wouldn't be afraid of screwing with her lungs if there was a bigger issue. There is no bigger issue. She needs her lungs. Not right now. She's already on a respirator. The machine is breathing for her. I can do whatever I want to her lungs. If you're playing catch in the living room and you break your mother's vase, you may as well keep playing catch. The vase is already broken. Yeah, except that room can't breathe without that vase. I'm putting her back on corticosteroids. His lungs are still two weeks away from being viable. But big enough for a diagnosis. These tissue buds are new. Could indicate bronchopulmonary sequestration or diaphragmatic eventration. I was thinking bronchogenetic cysts or bronchial atresia. Maybe lung lesions. We're going to do open fetal surgery. Open the uterus, cut out the fetus so we can look around. I know you can't talk, so I need you to look petrified if you consent. The umbilical cord won't be cut. During surgery, your body will basically serve as the baby's heart-lung machine. We find what's wrong and we fix it. If we can. Don't lower expectations if you want them to do something. She should know what she's facing. This is incredibly dangerous. It risks both your lives. The only reason why we're suggesting it is because there's nothing else we can do. Kidneys, liver, and lungs are all fine, just like that? Just like that. Oh, that's amazing. What's amazing is how blonde your baby's hair is. My baby? Yeah, you know, the thing in your belly that tried to kill you. You've never called him a baby before. Any pain? Nothing I can't deal with. You can only get out of bed to pee, poo, or shower, and absolutely no sex. So stop flirting with me. Sorry. So this really worked. He'll be normal. Well, you call being born twice normal. Hey, thank you. Don't thank me. I would have killed the kid.